What's up guys, welcome to East West Beats. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Drake's vocal effect into your recorded vocals. Now I'm not a rapper, but I recorded a little passage for us to work with, so let's play it. I don't really care what they won't say. I don't really care what they won't say. Alright, so those are my rapping skills. Now the first thing you do notice is I'm going very fast because I want to keep the video short. So if you want, you can favorite the video or you can subscribe to the channel so you can come back to the video whenever you want. I also will have this chained available for download in the description box below so make sure to click on that so you can get this into your inbox all right so let's cut down the low frequency so the first thing i'm doing is adding the logix eq and cutting everything at 240 so you'll automatically hear a difference that the vocal sounds much more lighter on the on the lower end i don't really care what they won't say i don't really care what they won't say so you automatically cleaned up a little bit of the low end in your mix. Now the next thing we're going to do is add a compressor. All right, so I will do another video on how compressors work and how to use the Logix compressor. But basically the important things to know here is I have a pretty quick attack, a low release, and then I have the threshold going from um, threshold at negative 12, 13, and then the ratio is from between two to three to one. Now this can change depending on your vocal source. So let's see how that sounds. I don't really care what they won't say. 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 All right. So next thing here is autotune. Now you will need a version of autotune um, that either you purchase or you have to use the tuning that's available in your doll. So let's play this. I don't really care what they won't say. I don't really care what they won't say. So it's not really pitch correcting to a scale, but you can see that the retune speed is low and it adds a little bit of... Um, the auto-tune effect to the voice. Now, I have I have the, the, the voice type as alto tenor, which is what Drake's voice usually sounds like and is recorded like. Next thing what we're doing is we're also adding another EQ. Again, after all this processing, some low frequencies do get introduced. So you want to do a little bit of high cut filter, uh, a high pass filter or a low cut filter. And I'm also boosting some frequencies right in that 24, 2500 range. That's because I know that my mic is weaker on that end. But again, that is where a lot of the good top mid, mid high end vocal frequencies sit. And uh, the plugin that comes in after that is the bit crusher. Again, um, I'm mixing it at a very, very low ratio, uh, and uh, you can just hear the difference with this on and bypass. I don't really care what they won't say. I don't really care what they won't say. I don't really care what they won't say. I don't really care what they won't The difference is not too audible unless you have good headphones or speakers, but in the overall process, it makes a lot of difference. All right, so the next thing we're going to do after all that processing is add a limiter to it. So again, here we're doing um, a plus three on the gain, uh, releases at 20 milliseconds, and then the look ahead is at two milliseconds. So let's see what this sounds like right now. I don't really care what they won't say. I don't really care what they won't say. So what this does is gels the vocals together, make sure the levels are not too fluctuating between the compressor and this plugin. And then the last thing we're going to do is add a reverb. I don't really care what they won't say. I don't really care what they won't say. And now let's listen to it with the plug-in bypassed. I don't really care what they won't say. 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 All right, guys. So that's how you process your vocals to sound somewhat like Drake. Uh, again, just keep in mind the microphone you're using, the type of EQ you're using, and the type of voice you're going to have to work with or the vo uh, or the, the rapper or the singer that you're working with. You're going to have to tweak some things in the EQ and the compressor, but this should help you get started with the Drake voice effect. Again, guys, if you like the content that you saw, please make sure you hit like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with anybody that you think will find this useful. And subscribe to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash East West Beats, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Happy music making.